Music production tip. We started out with drums. Let's listen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose Velez from jvcreationstudio.com and if you're new here, consider subscribing. As always, smash the like if you like this content and subscribe if you're not ready. We're starting a new series in music production. This is video number two. If you missed video one, go back and check it out. And now, to make it more interesting, let's do it together. You could do other songs, but if you want to do this song and follow along, I have included the original track and the chorus down in the description below so you can follow along in this journey. So have fun. So uh, last time we started a new series and we were doing, we were finding the tempo of a cover song. This is very helpful to do a cover song as a practice, even if you're not going to use it because the more you do it, the better you're going to be a music production because then you're going to figure it out, a couple of key things. Uh, you need to know a little bit of keyboard to get this started. And right now here I have the M Audio MIDI keyboard, a MIDI controller. It's small, but it's very functional. You have the volume here, knobs and pads for drums and a lot of control. and uh, you know to start out you need something like that small that you can control a lot of stuff or if you play piano then get something bigger I have a bigger one but I also have a small one this is the oxygen 25 and right now this is only what I need because I'm gonna start with drums and maybe the second the third video will be bass but right now we're gonna focus on drum and I'm not going to do it uh, perfectly, I'm just going to do the basic and a couple of key notes that we need. But it's not going to be complex, it's going to be simple because we are starting out in music production, okay? So, let's see what we have so far. Let's listen a little bit. Oh, I remember we were adding the verse, the chorus, that's important that you do that. And that you even though we're not going to do it today, that you find and write down the words and the course on the top in the right spot. And when we have a chord and we have a bass that is a different note than the chord, we have to make that happen. This is C over E. So E is the bass in this case. They are playing C chord, but they are doing E in the bass. That's important. And this is an easy song. Just using four chords. Find a song that is simple so you can uh, do this exercise with me. And this is in C major. You can see C, A minor, F, C, and this four chords. Very simple. So this should be easy. Find a song that you can follow along with me and then uh, put this into practice because there's no better than practice by just doing it. There's no better way to learn. Let's listen a little bit. So there's no drum. I'm going to, I could start with the piano or the bass or the drums. Let's start with the drums. And I'm going to do everything MIDI. So that's me. I'm going to play everything in the keyboard MIDI. Also, when you check uh, in your MIDI controller, let me change here the drum. Make sure your keyboard has a velocity that when you play soft, it's soft. When you play loud, it's loud. The velocity is important, okay? So you want a MIDI keyboard that has velocity. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble because then it's going to be the same volume all the time. And it's not, it's not going to be changing. That's the key for more realistic music that you need to have velocity, okay? Here, the bass. 
Okay. So let's start there. Very simple, so I'm gonna go to the chorus. No drum. Let's go to verse 3, I believe, so I have to change that. There you go, that's where we're gonna start. Listen to that. There's a swell there, a symbol that is crescendo. And I have here, in my library, I say my sound bass, piano, drums. I'm gonna go to the pit, <laughs> drums, swelling. This is gonna be my first instrument, just the swelling there. And click there. Then you need to find where is your swelling. I have a couple here. This is, two. This is the better one. So we're gonna play that there. Okay, so that's my first one there. Let's listen back. It's here. Okay, we are at that, that one. Now let's go to the drums. And you can hear the drum, there's pattern. Let me mute that and then that. So I'm focusing on the drum. It's doing something basic, something like this. Let me hear it again. It's doing kick, snare, and then a couple of toms. Oh yeah, you need to find your sound, you know, in the drums. The good thing about, I'm just using general MIDI. So when I load my drums, I'm making sure that it's MIDI in the right spot. <laughs> but when it's MIDI, usually it's in the right spot. Sometimes change, especially when we use Additive Drum 2. I'm not using it right now. Later I can change the sound. I'm not focusing about sound. I'm focusing more on playing the note because this is MIDI. I can change the sound later. So I'm not worried about the sound right now. I'm just making something easy that is not very uh, CPU consuming that I can record right away. And then later I'm gonna change the sound, but not now, I'm focusing on playing the notes. So. Uh, there you go, then I'm gonna shoot this too. And then in the second bar, it's doing something different. Two, ta ta ta. Something like that, so. And then get ready and let's record that. Oh, we have to put the click. And then the pre. Why it's too loud? The click is too loud. Let's bring the click down. And let's record. Something like that's not perfect, but don't worry. <laughs> that the idea, you can open that up and change or fix as needed. And because his pattern, he's doing that, and then he's gonna do the same in the same uh, one, the next two bars. So once you get it here, then you can uh, come to the bars and put it more like in 16 or even eight and C. In this case, I'm gonna do 16 because you're doing a couple of 16. Note, and let's listen. Okay, there's one more tone that we can add there. Let's check. Tom. 
phone. So I, I went ahead. And here the velocity. So you can take the pencil in your system and adjust the velocity. Let's check it out again. Kind of like that, so let's see. And maybe adjusting the velocity. Let's see again. Okay, and he do a couple of ghost nog, uh, something like that. And before we start, something like that. You can lower the velocity. And then you see this is a ghost note, so it can be lower. And then we're gonna copy that pattern. Also, you can check out for uh, Quantasy if you need it. I'm not gonna do Quantasy. Just gonna check that is almost in the right temp, you know, in the grid, which it is. Not all the times like that. So uh, sometimes you have to adjust. Especially you can take the snap and then make it in the right spot if you need it to that when it's distracted. But right now I'm gonna copy that and move we'll it to the next bar, but make sure I'm gonna put the grid and now it's in perfect timing. Let's see some. See the same, so we're gonna copy that. And now in the chorus he's changing the pattern. Let's listen. So there's a lot of listening that you have to do. I'm gonna put this swell over here. Let's see if this is gonna match. Let's omit that. Perfect, see? We did that here, and we copied that here, so we don't have to do it again. Uh, <coughs> let's listen to that pattern one more time before we figure that out. So the snare is at the end. Tum, 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 tum. Ah. So we have to figure that out. So kick first. And then the, the, the tongue. Tung, 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 tung. Okay, so once I got this one, it, it's the same. See, because drums is with patterns, so once you get you figure it out once, then you can copy and paste. We can. There you go. We can use this three tom and then the snare. So let's do it. One more before we start. Okay, so let's listen. I have something wrong in the tempo. And I'm gonna cut this here. And when you cut that out, let's take the snap. And make it sure it's right there in the perfect timing. It's too loud the kick in the in that one, so I have to cut that out. And let's listen. Okay, the tempo there is wrong. Let's move that out. See, take the snap off so you can move it. 
it's too loud there, so you have to then adjust in the velocity. And by the way, I'm using Reason. I also use Studio One, but because it's music production, I usually do all my instruments in Reason. Then when I'm gonna go mixing, then I'm gonna go to Studio One. But sometimes I'm mixed here in Reason. Doesn't matter. Dun, 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 something around there. Okay, two ahead. Let's hear, let's hear them. Better. Seeing the timing. And the uh, velocity. So we have to fix that. Maybe this one is too loud. Tung tan tan ta And then we just copy that over here or we fix that one. Let's see if we can Okay, let's bring that on the velocity. It's important there with the snare we need the loud. Okay. Let's move a little bit in the grid scene. Okay, let's listen back. And we can cut that hum. Listen back. Okay. Now I can copy that over and over because of the same. Cool. Okay, so let's duplicate that. In here, you don't have to duplicate the track. You can do lane, new lane. Let's try it. new lane. There you go. Now you have a new lane. That's what we're going. Let's do a couple of symbol there. Do we need symbol here? Let me listen. So let's do something basic. So here we go. So we can copy and paste. So I was just doing the hi-hat, there's something basic with the hi-hat and the open hi-hat, and then open hi-hat, and you can open that and check out, if you need to fix a couple of those, just take the snap off and fix it manually. I used to do a lot of quantization, but lately I've been using more manually. Okay, so then, so see, if you don't have lane in your system, you can make another track and copy that, so you can have everything by track. And then in the top, I can have the crash. So I'm gonna do a crash over here. Right down to find. I have a couple of crash, so I'm gonna use this one here. Let's crash here. Okay, so see, it's not perfect, but it's coming along. Okay, that crash is out of beat. It's by a little bit. Snap. There you go. It should be now there. 
No, it's not there. So if they does not oh there. There you go. So now when I copy and paste, I need it right there in the next uh section. Do we need crash here? Let's see. Yeah, we need that one. One we need one one there. Copy and paste. Okay, let's check this here. The same, so I'm gonna just copy and paste. Remember, this is not final, this is just a basic one for me to get the song going. Later, I can play on top, do another round, play on top to make it more interesting, or I can play it on my electric drum, Roland. So there's more option later, okay? This is not the final, but this is a starting point. Let's go to the bridge, and let's see what we're going for. Okay, so there's nothing there. So we're gonna go to the second bridge. So there's no, there's no snare tune to tune. Something like that, let's see. Something like that. Let's try. All right, let's do it here in the third one. Doesn't matter, you can move it later. Okay, so that was easy. Now it's more movement, so let's listen. There's kick in the four on the floor. And then at the end we have a snare. And then he's doing toms. Well, let's record in this section. And then I can cut that out. And he's using stumps in the top. So now I can put it, see? And then it's not messing with this one. So I can put toms in the right place. Just listen and find in the right tone he's using in the right place. See, but that's gonna take me more time. So don't worry about that. We can do that later. Just gonna focus on that. So let's copy that and paste that. Let's put those same bars we did here, there. And let's bring the crash. See, once you do it once, then you don't have to do it again. There's a lot of copy and paste. Right here and here. And now this is the chorus, so. <laughs> it's kind of the same, so. Ta 
let's lay some here exactly so let's copy that <laughs> and then curls here paste and bring the same bar here we have uh, Tom's going up let's record that section then So it's going up there, but then it was messing with this crash, which is fine. We just have to move it up there. And then we can put this one. You know what? We can put another track, new lane, and then put the crash on top, and then we can have the thumb here. So you can have everything more organized. And then the bridge again at the end. So, guys, this is a starting point. It's not perfect, but it's a starting point, okay? Uh, to then do the bass and then keep it up. Let's listen a little bit before we close. Get the click. We have the hi hat, and then we have to put something there. That's how it is. See how it is? It's, it's fun, it's, it's, it's coming alive. And then you have to check with your timing. Right now, the timing there is wrong. I have to move it more in the grid. See, now it's going to be more in the time. You keep going until this is perfect, but I'm not going to uh, <laughs> bother you with more. Next will be the bass. So please, if you like this content, smash the like. Release a new sound, keep commenting. And remember, this was video two. Check out video one if you miss it. Uh, then check, wait for video three, which is going to be the base. And as always, keep commenting, giving me some like if you like this content, share with your friends. And let's release a new sound. <laughs> let's keep practicing with uh, music production. Thank you so much. Jose Vélez signing out. Bye.